Hey, it is Friday newsletter time, and I'm excited because I'm going to show you something that you might not have seen before. So I hope everybody's having a good week. It is, uh, I don't know, what, about 120 inside the cave right yeah, now? Yeah, something like that. It, yeah, it's, it's comfortable. Nice summer day. We finally got summertime. So if I start dripping, uh, pardon me, I'll try and and wipe my uh, brow once in a while. And if he, if he starts melting, you know he's not real. Yeah, well don't throw water on me, otherwise we'll have a big problem. All right, so here we go. Uh, first things first, I discovered something that my father, surprise, surprise, no surprise actually, bought these a little while ago. Bought them on Amazon as just something to try. And you guys know that I've been well, many of you that have watched for a while, I always have to try and assume that we've got brand new people. But if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I hate painting. I just don't like it. It's just, but I do know that there's a value in it. And many of you paint your signs. And since I've been doing a lot of the influencer stuff, those that you've been watching for a while, a lot of those I put paint on. So, um, uh, Dad bought these because he thought I might be able to use them. But let me show you what I've discovered. If you, any of you guys have done any painting, this is just a scrap sign. If you've done painting like this, uh, and I use a little water-based um, water uh, latex. Uh, if you've ever painted the surface of these outset letters and had the paint kind of go over the edge a little bit, it is really a pain. But let me show you what this, uh, these new pens that Dad bought. They have two ends. They've got an end that looks like that. And I don't know how close you can get into that, Dad. Yeah, that looks good. Whether that uh, even shows. Can you hold up a piece, a piece of, of white paper behind paper? it? Yeah. yeah. Piece of white paper. Yeah. So it's got double ends on this thing. That's one. It's kind of a, a little fine point. Got it in there? Yeah. All right, and it's focused in, it's not blurry? No, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be too blurry. Okay, so that's one end, which I don't use very much, but you could. The other end is the one that uh, I really like. That end looks like that. And it's flexible. In fact, I don't know if I yeah. could, I don't know if I could even do this, but it's got a little flexible tip on it. So it's really cool. And let me show you what I discovered with it. When you have a sign, and I did this on purpose, when you have a sign that has uh, some color that goes over the edge, this is a really a cool way to fix it if you've got a black background. But you can see, I'll show those uh, that package again, but I'm gonna try and do this at an angle. And I don't know if you can even get in on that, Dad, but hopefully you can. I was till you moved it. Sorry. I'm back on it. So see where that kind of just, you, you don't have to worry about scraping it off. You just take that black flexible end and it, uh, well, did it clean it or not? I'm looking at it from the side. How many colors does that come in, you know? That's not working at all, is it? Shoot, it worked perfect for me. Oh, there we go. Well, your hand's right in the way now. Yeah. Sorry. And I, I, what I did was I made too big of a gob over the edge. I know my hand is in the way, guys, but you kind of get the point. That flexible edge, flexible tip goes right in that groove and you can just hit the side of that letter and I've used it several different times. I think I, I put too big a... Hang on. There. Now it's kind of cleaning up. I know I'm really causing you fits over there, Dad. That's I apologize. all right. But anyway, it works really well, guys. No, it, it's showing what you're doing. It's showing it, son. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's just I had to zoom back out. Otherwise, I just had the back of your hand. Ah, okay. So that's what it does. And now it hold it right there. Let me zoom back in. Still didn't co quite cover that right there. Okay, because the first, uh, yeah, it shows it shows it all, all covered up now. All right. So anyway, it works really well. It works better than it did right there. But I think I just got. Uh, it was before I kind of thinned my paint out. But uh, 
check these things out, guys. It works. Re it works really well. I've done it a couple times. The name on those is Tom Paul. Yeah, it's it's Tom Bow. Tom Bow. Tom Bow Dual Brush. Okay. Tom T O M B O W. Yeah. And I I bought those on Amazon. Yeah. So just type in Tom Bow T O M B O W. And it'll bring it. They've got several products on there. It'll bring those up. But I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with these things. They really kind of make the whole painting thing. If you go over the edge like that, it makes it a little bit easier to go back and uh, and touch up. So that's it for that. Now, what I want to do is we are going to get. Um, I am going to get this stuff out of the way, and we are going to do. A little bit of carving here. I'm going to do some artwork. You're going to show that sign first? Yeah, I'm going to show this sign. So here's the deal with this. I'm going to show you one of my influencer signs. I kind of broke the, all, my, all my set rules with uh, one of the influencers. I'm trying to break in, and I, I have. I've got actually three or four. I've got two other new ones set up that I'm going to do this next week besides this one into the fishing show arena. I love fishing. I love bass fishing. So there are a lot of, uh, you guys saw the Lake Fork guy, um, Justin, that I did one for him. And um, now I've got about, now I've got three more. This is another one. And I've got two more that is set up that I'm going to do. So this guy has a channel. But it's not really a big, huge channel. He's got like 34,000 subscribers, something like that. Normally speaking, I'll, I'll try and go after the guys that have got 100,000 or more, which I have. Um, but in this new fishing niche that I'm kind of going after, um, this guy is a fairly small channel. However, he gains a lot of subscribers. He's going to be a big channel. I mean, there's just no doubt in my mind. Really a cool guy. The other thing is he's a, uh, he's a veteran, and um, I, I really kind of I like his, his style. I like his, his channel. His channel is called Lunkers TV. And let me show you what his logo is. So this was my plan, and I loved his logo. I thought, man, that's going to look really cool carved. So this is what his logo and it's called Lunkers TV. So I wrote him. He said, yeah. He says, but I wonder, can you put my... Um, my military tabs on there because he's got four different logos of military service that uh, that he wanted on there as well and he was going to pay me for it but I wouldn't let him do it but so in this sign I've got rather than one logo I've actually got five different logos Let's stand up so these are his service <coughs> His services that he has um, acquired in the military. So obviously sniper. This is CIB, and I'm not quite sure what that stands for, but this is the logo for that. This is airborne, and that I believe he said that was air. The bottom one is airborne attack. I believe with the helicopter in it. Um, but I'm really happy the way it came out. I'm uh, really pleased with it. Um, and then of course this is his YouTube channel. So I'll be uh, finishing this up today and shipping it out to him tonight, or in the morning, Saturday morning. Um, but I kind of hope he likes it. His name is Robert, and uh, if, you, uh, if you love bass fishing, man, check out his channel. It's really a cool channel. There's some great channels out there. Lake Fork Guy is terrific, and there's some other great uh, bass fishing channels. But let me show you what I want to do in, in regards to this. How I went about carving some of that uh, detail. Um, and I've kind of discovered something that um, many of you already do this. Uh, yeah, that's his, uh, his name is Robert Turkla. Um, anyway, seems like a really cool guy. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move that out of the way because I'm not going to carve that again. I'm going to carve this little sniper logo. This is just a copy that I made. I'm going to use the adhesive, uh, which I don't know whether I've done that before. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to carve right through it, right through the uh, right through the paper. Need to sharpen my knife, obviously. So the adhesive that I use, I don't want to spray glue on my on my table here. The adhesive that I use is this. And this was, uh, I got this recommended to me from, from somebody else, it's uh, the 77, which works really good. Now, 3M. 3M 77, yeah. 
Now, if you have an issue with... Um, if you want to hold that back up, I'll zoom in on it. Oh, I thought you had it. My bad. 3M77. I might have showed this on a coffee and questions. I'm not sure. Okay? No, just a minute. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, okay. I, now I've got it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray that. And we're going to let it sit for a few seconds. I'm going to clear that nozzle. And you guys know to, to clear the nozzle, you just turn it upside down and then spray. I just didn't want to spray it on Dad's uh, short pant legs there. So now you've got your choice. You can spray just one surface, or you can spray both surfaces and then give them a minute or two and stick them together. In this instance, I think I only need to spray one, uh, one surface because it's pretty warm. That stuff is pretty tacky. Yeah, you can see it's tacky already. And that's kind of what I go by. When it's tacky like that, then I just stick it right on the board. This is just a scrap piece. I just want to show you how I go about this. Now I do mine a little bit different because I print normally on a different, uh, a different material and I'll show you that in a minute. But um, this, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and carve this sniper logo. And we've had questions and issues before with getting this paper off the board after it's, um, after it's carved. So what I want to do is show you something that I discovered that I haven't seen anybody else do uh, that works really well for me. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to carve this thing real quick, probably about 5-10 minutes of carving. I'm not going to be real, real careful because it's just scrap. I just want to give you guys an idea of how I, uh, the way I get the paper off after it's carved. So I am using our standard profile bit. If ever, anybody needs to know what that is, you can watch like probably more than half of our videos and see a profile bit, but it's just our standard profile bit. All right, I'm going to carve here as soon as I get some power. Uh, that'll work, hopefully. With me, Dad? That I cord's going to be in the way, isn't it? No, that's all right. I can turn it around. The LTS we did the other day, the cord was in the way. Ah, that's still too deep. I'm cutting too wide a line, so it's too deep, so I'm going to shallow it up a little bit. Now, I want to talk about this. Now you can see I went all the way around that S. I left a little bit of black. But what I found is carving through this paper, when you're carving through this stuff, what I like to do, as soon as I get something done like that, I'm going to go ahead and just take that paper off of there. The reason being, uh, on that, uh, that one that I just did, the reason I'm doing this is because the less stuff that I have on there that can get caught on that router base, the better off uh, I'll be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each one of these and then I'm going to peel those letters off so that that's less that the router base can get caught on. On time, Dad. I like that time. All right, and well, remember, I said this is going to be a fast one, but I'll let you know. All right.
<laughs> Not cooperating. Let me talk about this for a second. So now, I kind of roughed those out. And normally I would have my air hose here and I would be blowing those grooves out when I do that. And the reason I do that is I want to carve all of this and then I want to... That really chipped out there because I'm going too fast. Then I want to go back and... Um, yeah, both of those did. I want to go back and clean everything up, go a little bit deeper and straighten up those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, the rest of the inside of this logo. Now I can go a little bit deeper. Now the Ford's in the way. Oh, thank you. Now you can see that there are several places where that, that paper curled up and you can, and if you really go back and watch, you'll notice that my router in certain spots, it kind of got caught and that kind of stuff. So you have to be aware of that. Now, what I do to get that paper off there, and like I've talked about before, you can use a heat gun, um, which gets pretty warm. It's pretty warm out here already. But now what I do, rather, and I know a lot of guys use a liquid like a mineral spirits or something to get all this stuff off rather than just do it with their sander. But what I found is that, that I use my little, my little razor out of my, uh, out of my pop, my pocket knife. It actually works pretty well. And I just have a thing about liquid on my signs, guys. So if the, if the mineral spirits works for you, hey, that, that's great. That's good. 
good for you. Um, I won't do it. I just don't like the idea of uh, mineral spirits or... Um, well, anything you put on a bare piece of wood, it's going to soak in if it's a liquid. Yeah, I just, and, I just don't... I, it, it's just not me, but... But I've got no problem with doing it this way. You can see it works works pretty fast. Now what I will do after I get all the paper off, now I'll go back and really um, clear up those lines because I don't really like the way those lines came out. Normally I'd have my air hose and I'd be blowing this off. But once I know all my paper is off of there, and I, I, I did this much quicker than I normally do, guys, now I would go back and I will kind of clean, now I know what, what, where all my stuff is, I'll go ahead and clean up those lines. Frogs in the way. Oh, thank you. So my way. So I think you guys kind of get the idea. All those letters all go back around and straighten up all those lines. Make sure those lines look the way I want them to look. So I won't do the rest of it, that'll give you guys an idea. So I'll go back and just and clean up all those lines, the places where it kind of had a little bobble because of either the grain or the paper getting caught. That's the, the bad thing about that, uh, about that carving through paper is sometimes it'll curl up on you. Now, I told you that I do it a little bit different. It's because we actually have a vinyl printer. We have a printer that, uh, that we got a while back and so when I put my stencils, like all of those that I did on that sign, um, I did all those uh, and my artwork was done with this, with this stuff. So what this is, this actually is, I just cut it down at eight and a half by 11 sheet and made a copy of it. But this stuff is, uh, just has a peel away back on it so it's self adhesive. Now if you have the availability to use, I don't normally show this on camera because many people don't have a vinyl printer. So this, but the same, the same rule applies with paper. Now uh, one thing that I did used to do before we got this vinyl printer is use heavier paper like photo paper. And I think that works a little bit better. That's uh, akin to kind of this stuff because this stuff is, um, it's pretty thick. It's pretty heavy. It's like a vinyl. This stuff is vinyl, right? It's polypropylene. Yeah, vinyl. Right. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's my word for vinyl. But it will just it will just lay on there. I'm just putting this, and it's much thicker. Yeah, it's self adhesive. Yeah, it's self adhesive. So really good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's really good stuff. Tar it's tougher than vinyl. Yeah, it's um, and it's really good to carve through. 
<clears throat> but it has the same kind of characteristics as far as peeling up and stuff that the paper does. But when I peel it off, it comes off all in one piece. And then anything that's left, I just scrape off and it works out really well. So uh, again, that's just maybe another option for you uh, using the, the blade off of a, a razor knife to scrape off that stuff if you don't want to gum up your sanding belt, if you don't want to put a liquid on your boards like I do, I, I just won't do that. If you guys are good with it, then hey, that's terrific. It just doesn't work for me. I don't like it. So um, I guess that is, uh, so we're at about 25 minutes right now. Yeah, so let me wrap this up. That was uh, that was it for today, guys. But um, yeah, I was pretty happy with, with the way that sign came out. I just got to get it finished up and get it sent out here. Uh, so I got a couple other really cool logos that I'm going to do in the next week or two. So everybody, have a great weekend. Tomorrow morning, we'll have a, uh, one of Dad's memories. I don't know who he's going to do this week. You guys will find out tomorrow morning. So everybody, have a great weekend. Um, Stay safe, stay warm. We're going to stay warm out here. Uh, about 110, 120. Perfect. Perfect carving weather. Um, all right, guys. See you. Uh, you'll see Dad tomorrow morning. You'll see me on Monday morning for coffee and questions. Have a great week. Make some sawdust and um, be happy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.